atrial fib. You don't have to be an expert at reading cardiac dysrhythmias to understand how atrial fib gives you problems. Now, we always try to tell students, if you've seen one episode of ER, you know what V-fib is, right? V-fib is what, your, what is your ventricle doing in ventricular fibrillation or V-fib? It's just quivering. It's not really an effective rhythm. Of course, that's pretty much to death, right? Well, your atrium can do the same thing. When we call it atrial fibrillation or atrial fib, your atrium is doing It's just quivering. It's not really effective, is it? In order for the heart to pump the way it's supposed to, I need the atrium to compress, the ventricle to compress, the atrium to compress, and the ventricle to compress. So when I'm in atrial fib, the atrium is just quivering and the ventricle is still compressing. So what happens is what? The blood doesn't go all the way out of here. So I lose about 20% of my cardiac output. Well, you know, if I lose my cardiac output, that's obviously going to put me at a risk for congestive heart failure because I'm already 20% down. Atrial fib has a whole bunch of other risks involved because the extra blood that hangs around end up having clots. There's some other issues, but when you're thinking about congestive heart failure, atrial fib puts me at risk for congestive heart failure. Why? Tell your partner. Pick a partner for this session and see. Tell your partner why atrial fib causes you to have a risk of heart failure.